Hi, I'm Ben from Sundown RV. It's a great idea to be able to take bikes away with you when you go caravanning. Uh, there's so many good spots to have a ride, so many places off the road. We don't have to worry about cars. It's great exercise, great fun, great way to get around. So um, you can, there's a variety of ways to mount bikes on caravans. You can mount them on the back, on the back wall, you can mount them on the rear bumper of the caravan, and you can mount them on the drawbar. I prefer to always have them on the drawbar because there's much less bouncing around. So less chance of damage, less chance of losing the bikes. And also you can see them in your rear view mirror normally so you know they're still there. So we can mount them on the back of the caravan, but only if we're building the caravan for it. And I don't recommend ever mounting them on the rear bumper bar, even though it is done at times. But it's not my preferred choice, that's for sure. Just because of the bouncing, the movement on the back. So having them on the front, um, Grip Sport bike racks, they're the ones that we recommend. Why do we recommend them? Well, they're made here in Australia, they're made here in Melbourne. Thomastown, designed and built here. So local, manufactured, local quality, local jobs, and they're really a really good product. So they're solid, they're well built so far, never ever had a problem with one, never had a, had a complaint with one. So I'm a real advocate for them, I think they're great. Um, the beauty of these ones is that they can be mounted on any caravan pretty much even if there hasn't been space left when the caravan's been built for a bike rack. If you're building for it, you can extend the drawbar, you can do various different options. Once the caravan's already built, you're quite limited because of space. If you put the bike rack too far forward, you'll find that when you back the caravan in or you turn around the corner too sharply, the back of the car, the corner's likely to hit the bikes. So what we do here is we actually might mount the bike rack up over, over either the gas bottles or if there's a box on the front over the box. And the way that we do it is we make up a bar, an extra bar that goes in here, in the drawbar, and we bolt it onto the drawbar. So there's no welding onto the drawbar, so we're not compromising the integrity of the drawbar by mounting the bike rack on it. And I think that's important. Um, onto the bar, we put the Grip Sport bolt-on bike rack mount, which is this piece here. And then the rest of the bike rack bolts onto there. Now this bike rack can also come off here, and it can be used on the car as well. So it's quite versatile. If you get this one for your caravan, if you then want to go with the car without the caravan and take the bikes with you, there's an attachment, go straight into your 50 mil receiver on your tow bar, and then the top part of this bike rack fits straight onto there. So it, it, it is really good as both a car and a caravan bike rack. Now, the way that it works, it's really simple. Um, back wheel goes in here, front wheel goes in here, and vice versa for the one on the back, so you have one facing one way, one facing the other way. And I'll show you how it works with this bike, though I just happen to have found sitting here next to the caravan. So all we do is lift it up here, front wheel goes in there, back wheel goes in there, we slide, and wrap it up to there. And then we've got a strap here, just hooks into that hole there, and pull it down. It can't bounce, can't move. And then we put one more strap on the front, which is a Velcro strap. It goes through here, it just holds the front wheel down, stops it bouncing. And that just pulls over and pulls over and mount it on the wrong way. And locks on there like that, which stops the front wheel coming off. So it's actually really simple. So it was put on the right way, just I didn't know how to do it, so simple. So that's really it. Um, and it's the same for the one on the back. To, to be able to lift the um, bike onto the back, this post here actually folds down flat. So you can actually put it on and then stand the post back up. You don't have to try and fit it from behind here. Um, it's really as simple as that. There's two models. Um, there's a fixed one, which this one is, and there's also a tilting one. So the tilting one allows you to tilt the whole rack that way, in case you've got a box there or you've got bottles that you need to be able to lift up so that you can actually tilt it without taking the bikes off or without taking the whole bike rack off. Um, so they're the two different models that come as a two bike or a four bike. Um, and um, yeah, really great product.